I love democracy. I love the Republic. The main thing is to protect these characters, make sure that they still continue to, to live in the way that you created them, and that the universe of Star Wars continues to grow. throne presiding over the damned <laughs> so our buddy sparrow basically confirmed uh what i've been saying that kennedy did not expect to be snubbed like that in public at the premiere of her movie by steven spielberg and a sense of loss and doom and gloom has descended on lucasfilm so i appreciate uh, them for basically confirming what's uh, obvious to me anyway. Uh, I appreciate it. I appreciate the shout outs from Cameron as well. Um, but let's talk about what else happened uh, in the aftermath of the canceling of Kathleen Kennedy and Frank Marshall. Uh, Lucasfilm has been told by accountants to start calling in accounts receivable because Disney's grabbing uh, for every dollar it can find. And they've also called in a external auditor to look at the Lucasfilm books, which will probably uncover fraud and malfeasance, a.k.a. the Acolyte. Okay. Um, there's been question of how... Uh, Leslie Headland has been able to even afford to make a sizzle reel. Um, uh, apparently, she said they wrapped shooting, which, what are they talking about? Um, again, let's go through it. In January, the Acolyte supposedly was in the middle of filming episode three. In May, or beginning of May during Star Wars Celebration, Headland herself said, they were in the middle of filming episode four. And like, I don't know how long ago, they're in the middle of filming episode five. But it also is more evidence to the fact that they're looking for evalu evaluation for Lucasfilm for a, a buyer. Um, when you're looking at the stage at the Indiana Jones 5 um, premiere in L.A., you might have actually been looking at the people that are buying it back. I'm not including Harrison Ford in it. Um, uh, they apparently, through Doomcock, were offered $8 billion, which, in my opinion, overvalues uh, uh, Lucasfilm by a lot. But if it's the Saudi prince... They tend to buy things that are worth less than it, than they paid for it. It's a status thing. I've talked about it. Um, but he doesn't have the money. But if you were to put a bunch of people together, investors, and bring back George, the bearded dude here, and uh, bring in DreamWorks, you might actually have a thing that would work. Um, you know, a way where, where Disney keeps the parks and can continue Star Wars, uh, you know, Galaxy's Edge with a new skin on it, celebrating Star Wars and not Kennedy-era goofballery and fuckery. Um, you know, you might have a, a deal going, but these auditors are there not only to figure out where all the money went, look at Burn It Down, uh, when Emma talked about how much money they actually spent. It was like, they're drunks at a whorehouse. Just, you know, off, sailors drunk off a boat or off a ship after six months at the local brothel just spending money. All right, just, just, if it didn't work, spend more money. This actually makes sense 
considering what we know to be Kennedy's modus operandi when concerning the budgets for Rogue One, uh, Soylo, uh, The Rise of Skywalker, and TFA itself. The fact that at Celebration, Kennedy still felt confident enough to uh, defy Bob Iger says a lot about her hubris. The fact that her husband allowed it, uh, allowed her to behave that way, probably encouraged her. Um, but again, it's, look, it's not even the woke stuff that are the biggest sin here. It's the fact that um, she spent, overspent so much money and is an incompetent bookkeeper herself. Okay, a producer has to know what money is coming, going out and what money is coming in and what they can afford and what they can't afford. And I think her most egregious sin is acting like there was no end to it. And she let her own people act that way. And that's just not the way you do things. And this also says that, again, because Disney is demanding they, they, get, they get anybody who owes them money, pay them. And it confirms uh, a friend of Kamran uh, telling him that they demanded uh, the money back that they paid him for being a showrunner in, in, a, in a show that they canceled. Um, it just proves to me that the whole, the entire business model of Disney and the streaming service was not a good business model. And again, Disney allowed incompetence like Kathleen Kennedy to run entire divisions that they weren't equipped to. Okay. Again, in my opinion, this is Kennedy's gravest mistake, even almost before, uh, uh, trashing Han, Luke, and now uh, trying to uh, cancel Indiana Jones, okay? Um, but there's uh, there are other things that they should wor worry about with the audit, the external audit, okay? And th these will come into play. Well, she's... Horrible, I've made a ghastly, ghastly mistake. <laughs> Is it danger? Should I have your ship standing by? Evacuate? In our moment of triumph? I think you overestimate their chances. down to flight speed and we're preparing to you have failed me for the last time Admiral. the time has come execute order 66 so there's a lot going on here um the audit may uncover uh the funny business concerning the acolyte again we have not gotten a trailer yet Somebody at, that has uh, the Acolyte IMDb Pro account switched it from in-production to post-production. And again, may I remind you guys, the last episode we heard about them filming was not too long ago, episode five. And supposedly, they were actually filming in reality in December, which... For a show like this, it would they would still be in production, all right? Um, the fact of the matter is, uh, all we've gotten are, are behind-the-scenes looks, and these are public. These were not carried by the rags. These were public, okay? And uh, one photograph of Leslie Headland here with uh, the two of the lead actors... Uh, and this looks like it was filmed at Galaxy's Edge. The other photographs, one of Jonas Sutomo uh, as Chewbacca, or uh, uh, another Wookiee, not Chewie, 
looking stupid, I might add. Other people, um, apparently, Carrie Ann Moss was in the sizzle reel that people saw. But nobody actually has seen any footage beyond the sizzle reel. We don't know anything about this movie. And Sparrow has said they can't see anything that says this movie, or TV show, pardon me, sorry. The show was ever in production. Okay. Then we have the lawsuit, which we don't know anything about it. We don't know what's going on. Um, it's kind of strange that uh, we haven't heard anything. Um, and the fact of the matter is, I have, I've had a feeling for a long time that Iger just said to uh, Karen McCarthy, sue her, her being Kennedy, and see what happens. We'll see where it goes. And the reason why is because he doesn't know what was going on. Where were they getting the money? All right. Could have been Frank Marshall. Uh, slipping uh, uh, a few million under the door? Is that kosher? Were they div- diverting funds from Kenobi? Were they diverting funds from Mandalorian? Um, does that seem feasible? Uh, apparently, they were using the Andor stage, which was probably already rented out, we don't know what's going on here. And an external audit uh, may uncover the, 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 the hijinks going on. That being said, uh, there's a, a massive black cloud that has descended on Lucasfilm, and the flying monkeys themselves have actually abandoned Kennedy. Okay, so that's the, the, the rest of what uh, Sparrow uh, themselves has said about all this. And the reason why I'm saying them is just because anonymity's sake. Um, but we just have to sit back and watch. Like I said in the previous video today, the end is nigh, period. Oh, and by the way, uh, I'm going to do a video on LaTondra Newton. She's leaving... Disney. Order 66 is happening. This is Steph signing out. I'll see you around the galaxy.